Hello, this is our second video in this tutorial about making your first phaser game. Remember, I'm following the, this I'm following this tutorial in the phaser website. This is a very good tutorial for starting learning phaser and we are following this tutorial for making the game but with with phaser editor. So here, how we load the assets of our game with Phaser. Phaser has, Phaser has a special method in the send that is the preload method. In this preload method, you call, you use the, the load object. The load, this load object is the, the loader plugin of Phaser, and it has several methods for loading a set different assets. In this case, in this preload method, it is loading the uh, a couple of images, the sky image, the platform, the star, the bomb image, and the dude sprite sheet. When you load an image, an asset, you have to say what is the, the relative path of the asset, and you have to say what is the key of the asset. With this key, Using the key, you have to use that key later for creating the game objects, the, the image game object, the sprite game object. It needs the key of the image of the texture. So, I mean, what is an sprite sheet? An sprite sheet is a special image that has inside frames. So you pack a couple of images in a single image and divide it by frames. And here, when you are loading that, a sprite sheet you have to say uh, what, what what is the size of each frame so when all these files are preloaded then phaser calls the create method this create method is a special method where you can start adding game objects to the send to the display list just like this one you say add an image at, the, at this position uh, and with the texture a sky or with the texture a star. So it is the way you can do that writing phaser code. But now let's see how we do that with phaser editor 2D. Okay, we have phaser editor 2D here with the same configuration. We have the same project of the previous of the previous video so let's open it is running here our let's run our webpack development server for the game we have the game let's close this one i don't know we have the game here we have the project so what i'm going to do now is to Add the images to the project and load it in the game. In the static folder, this is a static folder, it's like the public folder in any website. So, where you place the asset of the game, here in this folder, we have the asset uh, Fufu Super Dino and Wapeng, but now we want to add the asset of our game. Let's load the files to the folder. Browse or it is here in the desktop as a desktop as and so let's load everybody here loading everybody here okay we have everybody here we have it here in our project the file is bad in phaser editor we use a special file for adding the image. It's like a manifest, it's a, it's a file, a JSON file, where you say all the images, all the files, all the assets you want to load in the game. So we have the asset pack file here. We had before here, the Dino, and we want to add the new files to the asset pack because what we are going to say to Phaser is to load this asset pack JSON file. We have here the different image of our game. When you select that in the blocks, the blocks is a, is a, is a view, is a part of the editor where it shows you have a current editor. You have 
the asset pack editor and the blocks show you the things you can add to that editor is the same here in the level send you have different things you can add to the send in the blocks view is the same here in the set pack so we can add here these files to the pack to the pack the blocks so here facer editor look into the files and it's a and it gives you the options for importing that into the pack you can import it as an image or as a sprite sheet let's import this as an image this one here the image in the set pack and this one the dude that is a sprite sheet we are going to import it as a sprite sheet and later here we can say the frame width and the frame height that is like this one the frame width is 32 and the frame height is 48 so we say here 48 okay 48 and you can see here in real time how it the image the frames of the image this is the image and this is the sprite sheet and it shows you the frames of the sprite sheet look at here every frame of the sprite sheet so we have everything in our asset and we have every all the assets in our asset pack and now i will add it to the scene let's delete everything here and here in the set in the blocks view let's open this in the blocks view i have everything i can add to the sun the sky let's align it here here and we can add also a star and we have here our first star okay we have our sky let's see the game how it's working okay the game is here remember the webpack server the webpack development server will update the browser when you make a modification so we have it there now this is our game we did that just add the image and add the image to the set pack but i want to talk more about this things for example what's happening here phaser editor uh, it, what it does is to get the send you have here this file that is an send of phaser editor and it compiles to code to phaser code for example these two images here when you look into the code generated here let me put this one here generated here you see in the create method this special create method it calls an editor create that this method is generated by the editor and the editor what what's the code that the editor generates it generates code for adding the sky and for adding the star just pretty similar to what you have to do here in this create method so phaser editor is generating the code for you that's a, that's good when you want to see what's happening if you have an error or there is a bug you can just look into the code generated by the editor and this asset pack so this asset pack is added in the preload you have the preload send this send will load everything of our game and it's in, in in the code you can see in the preload method it creates some objects the objects are are these these are the objects it creates for showing for showing to you the progress of the loading and in the it later will load the asset pack it uses this variable that is imported here it is the way you do this in webpack i will talk more about it later it is not so important right now here this is pretty ugly let me open this in visual studio code 
Open Visual Studio Code. Okay. I don't like this here. I have to change that. In the preload method, it loads the set pack. And in the create method, it will start the Levinson. Very, pretty similar to how you write that in Phaser. So that's all for this video. There is a lot of things to explain about how Webpack works, but this is for later. Now I just want to show you how you can, how easy you can preload things in, you can load things in Phaser Editor. Okay, see you in the next video. If you have any doubt, if you have any idea, please write your comment here or go to our Discord server. I'm pretty glad to talk with you. Uh, Facer Editor has few users, so I can talk with all of you. Just say hello and tell me if you have any doubt about anything here. Goodbye, see you in the next video.